Hi guys, Ben Parsons on the Blue Ribbon channel. So today I got a bit of a different video. I was looking through my collection. I was sort of uh, searching for ideas to do a video this week. Didn't really have that many ideas. Didn't have any unboxings to do or any pickup videos. So I was sort of looking through my collection, deciding uh, you know what I could do. And I chose something a bit different, as I said, and it's to show you my uh, non-blue coloured Blu-ray editions. I don't have many, so I'm just going to go through them. And of course, I would like you to also show me your editions that you got. Your Blu-ray, MRA uh, films that you don't have in blue Blu-ray cases, if you can understand what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I'm going to get started off straight away with you know the, the transparent clear ones. <coughs> Sorry about my voice, I've got a bit of a cough today. And the first one is Black Swan. I think it looks really, really good because the, the front image is you know, it's all white and sort of grey. And it goes really, really well with the, the clear case. So yeah, it just look, looks really nice there. If you can... If I open it up, you can see the discs also white, so it feels really nice with a clear case. So I'm really happy to have this one in my collection, it's Black Swan, which is a really good film. The next one is a really good uh, Japanese film, which is uh, Battle Royale, and this is actually the Arrow video version. So you can actually change the, the artwork on this, the, the paper cover. And yeah, once again, it looks really nice in the clear case. I might open this up, uh, I'll actually take out the booklet. So you can see, if you actually change the artwork round, because the artwork is quite white, it actually goes really well, the clear case, with that cover. I've actually chosen this cover because I, I like, it, like it more, but it's all white, so it does look really nice and captivating with this transparent or clear Blu-ray case. Okay, next one is also an Arrow video, which they released in a transparent or clear case, which is Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, this doesn't go so well, you know, with the colours of the of the artwork, but it still looks nice in the clear case. <coughs> Once again, it's got the artwork there. So yeah, as I said, the artwork's not so white, but it still looks nice in the clear, transparent case. So yeah, Arrow always give, uh, you know, do really good releases with extras and uh, you know, such so, so good artwork and also with clear cases, which I like. And my last uh, clear case is an, not an Arrow video, it's an Arrow Academy, but I think it's a, more or less a similar company, and it's Cinema Paradiso. I picked this up recently, and it uh, looks really nice also in the clear case. Just sort of makes it stand out on the shelf, you know, and that with a clear case. So yeah, I really do like these clear case ones. I've only got four in my collection, but they, as I say, they do stand out. Now I'm going to come into the black ones, which I really like. I just I don't know why I like them so much, but they look really really cool. And the first one I got here is Bone Tomahawk, which is a great film. You can see here in the black black case. Oh, I just think they look amazing. You know, all black throughout. I suppose you just get bored with the same colour. You know, all of them being blue. When you get a different colour, it sort of makes it look nice. But if they're all black and you had a blue one, I'd probably say the same thing about the colour blue. So the next one is American Psycho. This does go really well with the the cover art. You know, because it's sort of all black and dark there, so it sort of goes well with that. And uh, yeah, well, also the type of film it is, American Psycho, and the disc inside also is black. So yeah, that does sort of look go really well, the black case with American Psycho. Okay, the next one is a John Carpenter film, which again, like Big, big Trouble in Little China, but this time it's Assault on Precinct 13. And once again, it goes really well with the cover art, you know, with the dark cover art sort of blends in really nicely. You see that there so definitely better than blue and once again the disc is black so yeah it also goes together i just think it makes it look that much better and my last black one is uh the gift <coughs> so yeah once again with the black case uh, this one i don't suppose it would have been made a difference if they had it in blue but the disc is black so that does go well so yeah so again, makes them stand out on the shelf and they look really nice. And last but not least is a different colour. I've only got one in this in this colour and it's Chef, which is red. And once again, it goes really nice with, you know, the, the title of the film and all, <coughs> all of the comments and things like that in the back. So yeah, this, this definitely stands out on my, uh, my shelf, all of them being blue and then a, like a bright red one. So that... That's really nice as well. So I haven't got any more red ones. I don't know if there are any more red releases out there. But there you go. So yeah. Only nine uh, nine movies. But there you go. And they're different sort of coloured uh, black, red and transparent or clear cases. And uh, really it's something just to 
just a different to talk about. So I would love to see uh, your sort of movie collections in different colour cases and see what editions you've got. And maybe I'll end up picking some of them up because I do really like, you know, a bit of variety in my movie collection. Not all just being all blue. So there you go. Different type of video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Sub to my channel if you haven't. And uh, yeah, as always, take care, guys.